Hey guys, as most of you know, I've recently been getting into knives a lot more, and I started to collect some things, and got this knife the other day. Um, it arrived here just about two days ago, and this is something that I really wanted, and um, it's a really, really <laughs> awesome knife. So let's go ahead and open it up and show it to you. Okay, here it is. This is the Strider SMF. It's a little bit bigger than the SNG. I'm going to go over the specs. I'm going to show you close-ups and try to get a lot done in this video if possible. Um, Okay, first of all, um, I'll start out by telling you guys about why this knife was developed. Um, the SMF uh, was first developed for the uh, first SOCOM unit of the United States Marine Corps. Uh, it was the first knife issued to an individual Marine Corps unit in over 60 years, and the first tactical folder ever issued within the United States Marine Corps. Okay? Now I'll open it up and... Uh, give you some specs on it. Uh, the blade is S30V. The blade is also four inches long and it's what they call tiger striped. It's a tiger striped blade. You can get stone washed and you can get black and digicam and a few other things. It's got a very smooth feel to it and uh, this is the Tanto version. It's kind of a modified Tanto I think a little bit. Um, frame is titanium. This is a solid slab of titanium and they call this the flamed titanium. See the little pattern on there? comes from the heat treating I guess when they heat treat these. Now that I got this HD, the close-ups are just awesome that I can do with this camera. Okay, Then on the other side, you have a slab of texture G10. You can get black like this, tan, um, I believe they call it ranger green is one of the colors. And it's got a very grippy texture to it. And the G10 also has a back spacer. Starts down there, comes around. There, very smooth. Notice the jimping. Very purposeful jimping. Uh, Strider has some of the best jimpers in the industry working at their factory. There's, there's a couple different ways you can grip this knife. Uh, I really like the ergonomics of this knife, let's say. And one of the ways would be to hold up here in the finger choil and see the, where the jimpers cut jimping up here on the spine of the blade. You can really get in there, get a good purchase, and hold up there if you want to choke up on it, so to speak. Okay, Or you can hold from back here, kind of like you would with a standard knife, and you can use this uh, where the jimpers put the jimping in the handle you could use this jimping as well okay now I'm going to tell you guys this knife is five hundred dollars or right around there depending on uh, where you go to get one and a lot of people might say well you know why would you spend five hundred dollars on a knife well there's a few different reasons um, number one it's the quality and craftsmanship uh, warranty made in the USA, just a number of things. Uh, see here where this titanium slab comes over and it, this is your lockup. Okay, it's a frame lock. Now I'm going to open this again. I'm going to let you hear just the sound. Well, this, this knife isn't even broken yet. Hear that sound when it when it locks. I love that sound. Striders are known for that. And there's your frame lock, 
It's not too early, not too late, just about 50%, about right where you'd want it to be. And this knife is solid as can be. It's basically like having a fixed blade. One of the goals of this knife when they made it was to make a knife that was as strong as a fixed blade. And they accomplished that with this knife. Strider is known for this. It's not just this one. Anything you get from Strider would be tight and just I mean, you wouldn't even know this was a fit you you wouldn't even know this was a folder if uh you know, if you didn't know that it closed because it's that strong. There is no play whatsoever. It's solid as a rock. And uh it's just it's over it's overbuilt. I guess it's overkill. Uh, right here you have an oversized bull pivot, they call it. See how big that is? And, you know, that's that's what your blade opens on and closes on. And if you would, you know, for piercing or cutting, you know, you got that big oversized bull pivot in there. You know, that the blade rides on. You, know, you take a standard knife, like say this, uh, this Delica, and you can see the kind of pins or screws that they put through here, the size of those, and then you see how big this one is here. It's just built like a tank. Okay? Strider warranties everything. Their warranty basically is if it needs resharpened, we'll sharpen it. If it's broke, we'll fix it. If it's old, we'll refurbish it. The only thing they don't want to do is they don't want to repair knives if you've done a uh, destruction test on them. Some of the guys in some of the forums were doing destruction tests on Striders and then after they would uh, test the knife to failure then they would send it back and have it repaired and Strider didn't want to do that anymore but with the course of using this knife if anything would ever break uh, guys use these a pry with the, they pry with the blades and everything Strider will fix it for you they will or they'll sharpen it do whatever needs done to it so it's just some of the things I like about the knife um, it has the hinderer uh, frame lock stop it's basically a, a little screw with a stainless steel piece and uh, or I'm not sure what that is I don't know if that's stainless steel it might be titanium basically what happens is is it when you're unlocking the knife it stops the the frame lock from over travel outward. That's what this is for. So it can only flex so far when you close the knife. Okay, there you can see the Strider emblem. There's their logo. Very thick blade stock on these. Let's see if I can get this to focus in here. Okay, there we go. Very st thick blade stock here, guys. All the way down. There's your tip. These are all hand assembled at Strider. Custom jimping by the jimpers that Strider hires. You got the hole in the blade there, which is what I used to open it with. Just built like a tank. It also has oil impregnated uh, bronze bushings in there. Okay, that's what it rides on. Makes it smooth, um, opens real nice and smooth. Like I said, this one isn't even, I guess they can, they call it kind of like a break in. Everything kind of, uh, um, everything kind of gets smoother after you get the knife and you know you open it and close it for a while uh, it really gets smoothed out for you which yeah that's fine with me that's not a big deal a little bit of break in period but you know it opens good for me I just I have a hard time flicking these knives open because the tripod leg is like right here you can't see it and I'm and I'm coming around at an angle here you can hear how these open and lock up So it's a heavy-duty knife that's fully warranted, and 
definitely would last you a lifetime. Longer than your lifetime you could pass this knife down. Let me get you some close-up shots of it. Look at the edge. Very fine, very sharp factory edge. Very nice grind on these blades. Three quarter grind, flat grind. It's just smooth. I, I just can't explain it. The blade is just smooth on these. Okay, let me go to the other side and give you some shots. I really like this flame titanium. pocket clip is also titanium. Not only is the pocket clip screwed in like that, you can also see it has a little piece that goes in a hole right there in that hole. So um, you'll know that your pocket clip, it really can't twist around on you. Like if this, if this screw would ever loosen up a little bit, the pocket clip is not going to rotate around. I really like that idea. I have not seen that on other knives. It, it may be out there, but I personally have not seen an idea like that before. We've got a little lanyard hold here. Put a lanyard in if you'd like to. You can see some of that bushing right here, some of that bronze oil impregnated bushing right here. You can just barely get the edge here. Let me see if I can get it in, get it in view for you. See it right in there? There's the lock up. Frame lock up there. This blade ain't going nowhere, guys, when this is open. <laughs> Very thick stock with a finger choil right here. I like that tiger stripe blade. These this uh this version is very good for piercing and any kind of cutting tasks that you could do. Uh, very strong. Not only is it strong because it's S30V, it's also very very strong because of the way they heat treat these okay the heat treat method that they use on these they do this in-house it used to be Paul Bowes but uh, now Strider does this in-house when they heat treat and they I guess from what I was told they use the same process as Paul Bowes okay yeah it's really mean looking tip on that Tanto very pointy too like I said, as you can see, the thickness of this blade. Right there. Even down to the tip, how thick that is. So yeah, they're a lot of money, but there is a lot of uh, workmanship and craftsmanship made in the USA. Uh, a lot of time spent on these, hand assembled. Um, it's just, uh, it's it would not be easy to manufacture something to this level. 
it just wouldn't wouldn't be easy to do and then the titanium it's not a cheap material to use um, well like I said one of the things I like is the warranty I've heard of uh, somebody before sharpened their blade and they messed it up on a grind or on a grinding wheel uh, I forget what they were using but they messed up the blade when they tried to sharpen it they sent it back to Strider said they messed up the edge of the blade um, is there anything you could do, uh, you know, to help me out and maybe regrind this or correct it? Strider put on a, a brand new blade and shipped it back to the guy. He has a story on one of the forums. So that kind of uh, that kind of warranty is worth a little extra money to me. This jimping that the jimpers put on here is very purposeful. Nice big cuts. Look at this. This is the Glock tool here. Look how it fits down in the grooves. This jimping is very useful. It's not decoration. You can really, even if you had gloves on, you can really bite into this, into the handle of this and into the blade. Strider also makes fixed blades as well. Uh, normally it's just a, it's all steel stock wrapped in paracord for a lot of their uh, fixed blades. I like the folders. It's a folder designed to be a fixed blade when it's open, and it is. Let me show you a little comparison here. I mean, just to give you a little idea, okay? Here's the Spider Co. Tenacious. It's a neat little inexpensive knife I picked up, you know, just a pocket carry around, but just, just to show you some differences. Um, on how things can be made much better and why things are more expensive on some knives. See this liner lock right here? Or the frame lock, I'm sorry, the frame lock, what's holding the blade open. Uh, that's the most vulnerable point of the knife right there because if anything would fail in any tasks that you're doing it would be it would be this piece of metal right here. So this piece of metal comes over locks your blade open, sits in the center of the blade there. Now, you look at Striders, and you got this titanium, this big piece of titanium coming over. You're not going to go anywhere. You're sitting solid as concrete. There's no way. This, when, when, you, when you handle this knife like this and hold both ends, it's like holding one piece of metal, like one solid piece of metal. That's the only way I can explain it. There is no play. There's nothing to move. It's just like a fixed blade when it's open. But yet you can close it, carry it in your pocket. And there's a little bit smaller model. It's called the uh, SNG. There's also the PT, which is a uh, much smaller model than this. I like this model here. You hear that? That just, I love the sound, the loud pop that these striders are known for. And that's your lock bar coming over. And they tell you to go ahead and, you know, open these and close them, play with them when you get them. It, uh, it kind of gets everything smoothed out a little bit more. There it is. Um, the, only, the only other thing I would have did different was if it would have been available at the time, I probably would have got the Ranger Green scale, but not a big deal. I like the black as well, but um, the Ranger Green kind of looks nice with the Tiger Stripe blade, but um, I don't think this will be my last strider. <laughs> uh, so I will do that with one of the other ones. hard use knife not meant to be pretty not meant to be uh, not meant to be kept in a safe but a lot of guys just collect them and don't use them but um, it's definitely a workhorse and I mean to be issued to one of the branches in the military and the first one issued in over 60 years is just you know it tells you something
so that flame comes down over the edge edge there. <coughs> Uh, the jimpers also do a good job on this, on jimping the uh, frame lock. Strider's jimpers also get that pretty good as well. It's pretty useful. You can feel it. It does dig in. It does help. Not just decoration. Now, some people say, and I and I can agree with this, um, with these blades being this wide, some guys say that um, it's not a slicer like they would like to everyday carry because they would like something with a thinner blade profile. Like if you're just going to cut boxes and tape and or if you want to food prep, you could food prep with this knife, but it's, like I said, it's, it's overbuilt. It gives it more strength. It's overbuilt. It's not a thin profile blade. It's very thin and sharp on the edge, but it's not a thin profile blade. Okay, you're not going to go slice uh, mic slice tomatoes into micro slices with this thing. You could use it for food. Um, you know, there's no reason why not. But but it's it's built for to be tough, heavy duty. Guys pry with the blades, do all kinds of stuff with them and just beat them up and they keep you know they keep working fine for them Yeah, you just kind of—it's something you kind of have to feel on these guys if you've never seen one or been around one. It's very smooth. You can just—you can just tell quality, you know, when you open it or close it. Blades nice and centered in there. Titanium pocket clip. Love this. This they have this G10, very smooth right here. There's no grippiness to it at all right here. And then it also has um, little section here where the jumpers uh, also put some jimping down here. So if you like jimping, there you go. Could hold it like this. Or like this, use it as an impact tool. I'm sure if need if need be. Yeah, I do like striders and I'm a fan. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Um anybody out there have them? Let me know what you think of yours or what you put it through. and uh, Or you can send me any video responses. Any of you guys that have videos up of these or if you want to do a video, you can send over a video response and I'll uh, approve it and put it with this one. Let me know some of the abuse you've put these things through and uh, just tell us about it. Okay, everyone. Put this one there for now. Um, I will be carrying this one soon. I'm going to start carrying this, and I'll let you guys know how it goes um, after I've carried it for a while. You know, we'll see what it's, see how it, how it is, and if it's too, too heavy or too bulky. It is, it is a little weighty. Not sure of the weight on this thing. Uh, but it's, you know what? Let me get the scale out. I, I need to put this on the scale, and I'll let you guys know what the weight is on this. Be back in a sec. Okay, guys, I'm going to throw it up on the scale, and we're going to see what it weighs. Um, I should have had that information down, but I didn't. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ounces. Okay, we're just under six and a half ounces. But... 
it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel bad at all. It's uh, the weight's distributed nice on this. I'm going to carry it nice smooth front. Um, so where the pocket clip goes into your jeans and right here where it, you know where it holds secure, it's not going to uh, hurt the material on your pants like G10 would. And uh, you know I do like the pocket clip like that. So I'll carry this and see. You know, it's not it's not overly thick. I think it'll I think it'll work pretty good for um, EDC. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know what I think after after about a month. I'll do an update video. Let you guys know what I think of the uh, of how it carries. As far as my opinion goes on that. Excellent, excellent craftsmanship. Strider. This is Humans for Targets, and I'm out.